It's the tense moment a deputy sheriff stops a black man out for a jog. If you're not in any trouble or anything, there is a, a burglary that happened. You kind of fit the description. Let me just make really? let me just make sure that you're not him, okay? But the jogger, Joseph Griffin, is the wrong man, him, as okay? will soon become right. obvious. Uh, I'm a vet. I have my ID. Okay, can I see your ID? Yeah. He, you literally, they said white tank top, black shorts, right, and they they said that you had a beard. All right. So I'm not saying it's you, but it was a black male. Again, not saying it's you, buddy. Griffin, a former Army Staff Sergeant, streams the encounter on Facebook Live. If something happens to me, y'all better raise hell. Fifteen minutes later, he is released. Right. We just got the picture finally from the witness, and it is, I get why they, they went out with you for sure. Uh, Clearly not you, but the clothing description and everything match. For the now, encounter is now going viral and being here. hailed as a good example right of how now, both cops and suspects should act Everybody. in these situations that sometimes turn deadly. And thank you for Officer Estrada here who told me from the get-go, hey, I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. So definitely appreciate that. Uh, wrong place, wrong time. Here's the real suspect side by side with Griffin. I spoke with Griffin today. It's definitely a frustrating situation. Uh, nobody wants to go for a jog and end up in handcuffs. Um, but I do understand that mm -hmm. officers have to do their job. There's certain ways we can go about it. The Volusia County Sheriff in Florida was so impressed with how Griffin handled himself, he actually tried to hire the registered nurse. Did you offer him a job? I did. I have 40 openings. And in today's climate, between COVID-19 and what's going on with law enforcement and a minority community, I, I, I can't fill them. So he'd be a great addition to the, to the force. I don't think I could pay him enough, though. <laughs> Do you see this as a teachable moment for police? For America? I see this as definitely a teaching moment for America.